This tutorial demonstrates how to use arrays in some simple physics in Hippo Animator 2.6. Arrays are lists of variables in JavaScript. In this example, we will add three shapes to an array, and apply gravity to them. Here, we have three shapes, but as we are using arrays, we could have many more. For each shape, turn off the timeline and set the script ID to donut, circle and hexagon. In the movie properties, open the general script. First, create a shapes array, and add the donut, circle and hexagon items. The shapes array is simply a list of the three shapes. Then create another array to track the velocity of the shapes, add three zeros, the velocity of each shape will start at zero. Set a variable for the acceleration called gravity, in this example, 0 0.01 works well. We will also need to calculate the change in time between updates, so add a last time variable, and set it to the current date and time. Next, open the on update script in the movie properties. First we calculate the change in time between updates in milliseconds. This is done by creating a new time variable, then subtracting the last time. Finally set the last time to the new time. Ready for the next update. Create a for loop, to loop through the shapes array. The value of the variable i will be 0, 1, then 2, as the loop runs. You can access each shape in the array, using square brackets and the index variable, i. Increase the value for velocity of each shape by adding the change in time in milliseconds, multiplied by the gravity. To move the shapes, add the velocity to the current y value of the shape. Finally, we make the shapes bounce. The shapes will reach the bottom of the movie when their Y value reaches 350. If the Y value is greater than 350, set it back to 350. Multiply the velocity by 0.6, so it eventually will stop. Force the velocity to be a negative value, by using the absolute function and making the result negative. When you press play, all the shapes will drop with gravity and then bounce until they eventually come to rest. You could add many more shapes. As long as you add them to the arrays, this example will still work.